AC cabinet, but rather than all this space that they take up, yeah. I thought that I would just build a new cabinet and stack them one on top of the other. All the power comes into the back of these cabinets down here. So there's no issue with enough wire to, uh, and this is, this is the stuff that goes up. So this is all as is hooked up, right? Yes, it is. Uh, and as, as it stands, it's a runner. I think you could, you could top up the fuel or whatever, or drain it out and put new fuel in it. Yeah, um, it needs two new batteries. Yeah. The batteries for the engines go down in here. There's a battery box that I lifted up and took out of there. But the, the two engine batteries go down into here, and they hook up, of course, separately from the uh, from the uh, from the uh, Volt batteries. Those are your mains there, right? Yes. And these these are the Crusaders that came with the boat. Yes, they are. Yeah. Well, I guess as far as you know, getting as much space as possible, y you've done that, right? Because you took all this out. Now it's it's open. Yep. To finish, however. Well, that's the thing, and I, you know, and uh, um, I, my sort of intention was not even to to build permanent structures in here, but uh, you know, bunks or uh, tables or anything. You just want to make a nice open lounge back there, right? Exactly, because because there is the floor space to do that. So. You know, I figured that we could put, uh, this would be an ideal place to put a dinette, a uh, freestanding, and back here, you know, you could just make this a seating area with, uh, you know, with a couple of leather chairs or some leather chairs and footstools, and, um, you know, I was going to put a TV over in that corner uh, above where the power is, and, and then with the galley down here, it would be down here out of the way, and... Yeah, you always want more space. That's the thing about boats. Yeah, you there's, always never, there's never enough space. Yeah, you'd think with the amount of snow and rain and everything that we got this year that there would be a lot more corrosion or whatever, but it looks like it survived pretty good. Well, I guess because you had the tarp on it before. Yeah, I had it. Uh, I um, I had a, a structure built for it, but yeah, the, the PVC was starting to break down and and it got brittle and then it started. That's These are the factory like, doors, right? Yeah, they're kind of a, they're covered with sort of arborite. They're very heavy. Melamine. But those those metal frames. Yeah. Uh, those aluminum frames. Yeah. They sandwich on either side of that plywood. Right. So whatever you cover the plywood with, it just gets sandwiched underneath there and there's screws in there. So, yeah. And, uh, and this is your fridge, fridge for it is in there. This, yeah, this is the frame for the top. This is the frame for the, for the fly bridge. Yeah. And then the fabric for that, you say is stowed away somewhere. It's in the basement. Yeah. Oh, okay. Not yeah. in here. No, it's not in here. No. Molly, you stay up there. So oh, this, this this is for this is the uh, fabric for up for top. up top. Yeah. Yeah. And they use the chairs. Yeah. Yeah. Well, these were yeah these were deck chairs that we bought and that have never been used. This is our dog Molly. Get down and get lost. <laughs> Go on, get. <laughs> Yeah, we are. Uh, no, I just. I'll just. Yeah. So this. This is the. Uh, I know it's pretty hard to see. It's red. No, it's that's, not. that's just a pillow. It's black. Oh, it's black. Yeah. So it's oh, all that's like, the fabric there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's umbrella. Okay. And I had a. We had a visor made for up top. Yeah. For the uh, front windshield. All right. Yeah. So. And now where they're moving to Mexico, I gotta get rid of it all. <laughs>